Hello again, everyone! So this is going to be my discussion video on the final episode of The Closer. I watched it on Monday night, and I haven't had a chance to rewatch it, so that my uh, facts may be kind of blurry, and, uh, oh man, it was just such a good episode, I kind of, like, all my emotions kind of made the episode, like, it was good, and I loved it, but I just, some of the things kind of went over my head, so I hope this will make sense. So this episode kind of is, is actually, the, is, it's the conclusion of the series, of course, we all know that because it's the final episode. Uh, it's the conclusion of the kind of conflict between Brenda and that serial rapist who I cannot remember the name of for the life of me. I can't believe I can't remember his name, but, oh, I wish I could remember. And I really, really loved this episode. I thought it was really, really well done. Uh, it starts out with this boy who is doing tricks downtown, and he sees a girl, or a woman get murdered. Or not get murdered. He sees a guy carrying a body of a woman that was murdered, and obviously, and uh, he basically escapes. And he is a witness in this rape serial murder crime that they connect to the serial rapist that has gotten away throughout the, this past season, or even maybe in the sixth season, too. I forget when he's actually introduced, so I haven't rewatched the series in a while, so I, I just remember that he is sort of like the antagonist throughout the last half of the series. I really loved how this episode concluded. I, I love the that scene at the end where Brenda and, and the boy and then him are in the their, uh, Brenda's apartment together, or her house, and uh, they're fighting and uh, I, uh, she almost shoots him. This is my favorite scene in the episode. I love that she didn't shoot him because it just proves that Brenda isn't like that. And, I mean, she was also, like, you know, she was accused of, uh, what is it, I don't even know what it's called, misconduct or something. And I think it's where, it's kind of, it's a huge turning point for her character because up until this point she would, like, break the law or bend the law to get the confession, and I think it was really good that she didn't kill him because that just proves that she's changed and she's accepted herself and accepted that this isn't right and that she should be the better person. And I love that. I love that part. That was, like, my favorite epi part, favorite scene of the episode, I'd rather. And then after that, I also loved uh, the uh, closing of The Closer. That was just so heartwarming, and I cried, and then laughed, and then cried again, because uh, they, it was really sentimental, and people were, uh, all the people uh, were saying goodbye to Brenda, and they gave her the present of her new bag, because when she was shooting the uh, serial rapist, she shot him, but she didn't kill him, uh, through the purse. So they got her a new purse, and they filled it with those, I don't know what they're called, uh, they're like, they're not candy bars, I think they're like brownies, or some sort of, like, um, cakes, I guess. I thought that was just hilarious and amazing, and I thought that was so sweet of them to give them that gift to her, and I just, I love the ending scene. It made me cry, and then it made me laugh, because Brenda says, thank you, for the last time, and it's just like, oh my god, I'm gonna miss you, Brenda. Oh, I'm gonna miss this show. This show is just fabulous and amazing, and I love the characters. Um, I, however, I do have a question. So it may have been just because I missed the second to last episode. Like, I missed half of the first half of the second to last episode. But I have no idea what happened to uh, Brenda Lee's dad. I know what happened to her mom, and I thought that was such a sad scene. Oh, my God. I cried. That was so sad. Oh, Billy, really, Ray, oh, my God. And then I just... I don't know what happened to her father, so if you know what happened, could you, like, message me or something, because I missed that episode. So, I, if, or if it, she, they didn't conclude that, I don't know if they did, but I know he had cancer, or he used to have cancer, and he was recovering, so that was another thing I loved about The Closer. I loved the, uh, the how they put cancer as a main theme in the storyline, and I also loved that episode where um, it's all about cancer and the cancer patients and the cancer doctors. <sighs> It's, it's just touched my heart because my mom has gone through cancer and I, it's just, it's one of those things where I just feel like I connect to it and I totally sympathize with Brenda. I could understand completely how she felt during that time and I just, I love this series so much and I love this final episode 
and it was just brilliant, and I loved it. I just have, like, no complaints, honestly, except for that I don't know what happened to her father, and I'd like to know that. So, if you know, again, please message me. So let me know what you guys thought of this final episode of The Closer below in the comments, or, yeah, just do in the comments. It'll have a spoiler tag on the video anyway, so I want to discuss it with you all, and it was just an amazing series finale. Uh, I just love it so much. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. I will see you guys next time, and yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.